I found a way to improve your art quite a bit, quite fast. Ballpoint pens. How to sketch with them and why you should do it here today on my channel. Make sure to watch the whole video so you won't miss out on any of my tips. My name is Dr. Rocker and it's time to draw. Oh, and please check out my Kickstarter project. It's a book I drew and I put a lot of love, blood and sweat in the pages. So check it out, link in description. But now for real, let's draw. Comic book drawings are supposed to be full of life. With one page of a book, even with just one page, you have to tell a story. You need to make the drawings moving in the mind of the reader. Come on, come on. And that's not easy if your drawings are too stiff or tight. It's totally okay to pursue a very clean style, but still there should be a certain flow to it. Using a ballpoint pen can help you with that big time. Especially when it comes to hatching, but more about that later. You can use a ballpoint pen for doing sketches and gesture drawing practice. That will help you to get rid of a heavy hand should that be a problem of yours. But in any case, you will benefit from having to control the pressure you use for your helplines. You can draw quite thin with a ballpoint pen. All you need is to be gentle. And you need to be gentle, otherwise you will not be able to get a proper sketch, since the helplines would be too thick and the whole drawing would get way too confusing. And besides training your abilities to control pressure and your overall pen control, you will see how fast and fluid the movements can get with a pen like that. You can draw very quick with these and that might remove a stick you are wearing where the sun never shines. At least for me that helps to leave some of my tightness behind and become a more fluid artist. Especially when it comes to cross hatching, I found that using a ballpoint pen will bring more liveliness to the drawing. It is a bit harder to draw a decent line weight, at least if you want to get some bigger lines done, but you will make up for it with fluid, fast movements and lots of lines. What works especially good is to use more than the common two lines. After creating a grid, you just add an extra line at the bottom and hatch out of there as well. And by the way, should you pursue a very realistic drawing style with ballpoint pens, that's kinda all you need to do. Using only little pressure and start to hatch with light short lines. Layering enough of these on top of each other will entail to a very deep and satisfying shading you can use for everything you want to draw. But we want to stick to comic book drawings here, so don't overdo the hatching lines, otherwise the drawing will look blurry or there will just be some blobs at the beginning of your shading. Cause even when you use a blue ballpoint pen, which is the color they usually come at, you can use it to create an actual comic book ink drawing. All you need to do is to scan your drawing in or even just take a photo of it, turn down the saturation and voila, there's your ink drawing. Works amazingly good. Maybe up the contrast or the gamma, but that's all you need to do. Make sure to use blank paper though. You will not be able to filter out the blue lines on the Strathmore 200 series for example. Cause they are blue as well of course. Everything else works pretty much as when using microns or something similar. You should be careful not to smudge too much, you can get rid of the pencil lines easily, pretty much all the same. Strong blacks can be a bummer though, cause you might take forever to fill these out. But a great way to experiment with them and maybe go more of a Mark Silvestri route with your strong blacks, putting even more life in the drawing. And even if you will continue to draw with the usual instruments, a trip to Ballpoint Alley will help you to improve your art, your style and might show you some interesting and new ways to work on your drawings. So please my friends, give it a go! And just to prove my point, I will draw that pool now only in Ballpoint Pen. Just to see how it works on a whole illustration. So let's do that! I have a dream, that's all I need I'll make it happen with some work and belief Know what I want, so I'll take it on I'll make mistakes, but mistakes make you strong 
Let's break it down for a minute. I want the crown, I'm gon' get it. You hear me loud, man, I'm winning. Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be grinning. These ladies know that I'm sitting, and this is just the beginning. I'm closing in the night, getting there ain't no point in resisting. Living life like a dream, baby, right, that's the thing. Every night, got a team, I've been tied to the scene. Out on stage, here I'm screaming. Okay, it's a dream, and I'm. Okay, here's our pencil sketch. Off to Ballpoint Alley now. And here we go guys, Deadpool and ballpoint pen. Looks solid, but still fluid. And when we alter the saturation, it will look like an actual ink drawing, ready to be colored. Take a look. And here you have it guys, all you need to draw proper comics is a ballpoint pen. That was a lot of fun and I learned a lot here today. I hope you guys did as well and give this a go. Let me know down in the comments if you already use ballpoint pens. Also let me know if you just did only after this video and how you liked it. Anyway, this is it for today's video. Should you be new to the channel, make sure to subscribe so you won't miss out on any of my future comic book drawing content here on the channel. And turn on the post notification bell so you really won't miss anything. And check out the book I drew on these guys. It's live on Kickstarter right now. Link down in the description. Thank you. See you on the next video. And until this is out, I want you to go now and watch this video. That's where I show you how to use light sources in comic book drawings. An excellent tutorial, I dare say, and you could use it to draw even a ballpoint pen sketch and use all the tricks in this one as well. So, see you there, my friends.